We well, are back on your Wednesday. A new Alaska State Fair concert has been announced. Foreigner will perform next August on the 30th. It is all part of their farewell tour. The band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame over the weekend. Tickets go on sale at 10 a.m. Friday. The dates for the 2025 fair are August 15th through September 1st. Already getting excited Man. about next year's I mean, Aaron, you're already starting to, to sing a little bit of the, uh, the song. Come on, Aaron. <laughs> I did mention to you this, this morning, you, you said you didn't know I them. did, yeah, I did. Until you know Kristen gave me a song, and I was like, okay. I'm not going to sing. I did have to look. I, they do. They do do one of the uh, Footloose songs from the original movie, and I'm like, I do know who this band is. So. Uh, if Tracy Sinclair were here, she would certainly sing it. Uh, yeah, you're not going to hear that from me. <laughs> but I do look forward to hearing uh, that band. Winds continue to gust this morning across the state. We're still holding on uh, to some of those, uh, some of the uh, coastal flood advisories, as well as warnings as you head out west and through uh, northwestern parts of the state. Uh, those warnings and advisories expire by 7 a.m. With that being said, uh, we're still going to see some gusty conditions today, although the floodwaters will recede uh, as we continue to head through the rest of your Wednesday. Winds over the last couple of hours have been gusting uh, anywhere from about 20 to 35 miles per hour, so a significant drop-off in our winds uh, compared to what we've been sitting at the past couple of days. We've already been talking about Kotzebue uh, being one of the harder-hit areas when it came to that flood. You can see just how, uh, this is a, a drone video, just how uh, flooded those wa the waterways uh, have been uh, as well as uh, the Kotzebue uh, itself. And we're going to con uh, continue to see the uh, floodwaters themselves again uh, recede throughout the day, uh, certainly seeing improving conditions. But of course, we will continue to hold on uh, to some of those breezier conditions. Heading further south, out towards Nunum Iqua, uh, we are talking about uh, some of that floodwaters itself as well. You can see the wa uh, rushing waters. This is uh, those gusty southwesterly winds uh, that we've been dealing with for the past uh, 24 to 36 hours for areas out west. Those winds, again, uh, they have subsided, and we are seeing the return to some colder conditions uh, for areas out west, and that's eventually going to spill through the rest of the state. We're already seeing those colder conditions uh, as you head through uh, the interior. This is a, a photo coming in from uh, Fairbanks out towards Airport Way. Uh, we are seeing roughly about 2,500 people without power for Fairbanks and surrounding locations with additional snow to be expected today on into uh, the afternoon hours. It looks like we've already dropped those uh, flood warnings and uh, coastal flood warnings and advisories for areas out west, so good news for you there. Still holding on to that uh, high surf advisory and flood uh, and winter weather advisory for coastal regions uh, of the Beaufort Sea Coast and then the winter storm warning as you head uh, through the Brooks Range. So still expected to see some additional areas of some snowfall across the state. Nothing significant as the greatest impacts from the storms uh, have, uh, have greatly uh, improved across a large portion of the state. One thing we are watching, a secondary area of low pressure that's going to strengthen later today as it dives southeast through the Bering. Uh, be prepared for some rain transitioning to some snow through the overnight hours for parts of southwest Alaska. Uh, out towards Bristol Bay, we could see about one to three inches of snowfall. As that low builds into the Gulf of Alaska, we'll see some gusty conditions out through the Aleutians, uh, as well as Kodiak, and then, of course, rain, as well as uh, areas of wintry mix expected to make a return uh, to not only coastal regions of south central, but out towards southeast as well. So mainland Alaska beginning to dry out or calm down while coastal regions of the state uh, once again expected to see the return to some of that active weather. While we stay dry for inland areas of south central, uh, we are watching a chance for some snow uh, making a return as we welcome in next week. Afternoon highs today across the state, uh, roughly sitting near freezing for many areas across mainland Alaska, 36 in Bethel, 46 in Cold Bay, out towards southeast, wet and breezy to be expected through the remainder of the day. Uh, you can see those temperatures steadily dropping. We are in the 30s tomorrow, near freezing as we welcome in the weekend, overnight lows in the teens and 20s, and again, chance snow arriving into next week.